I cannot believe it. Christmas is literally just around the corner. And I'm sure by now most of you have just decided on the mains that you're going to be preparing. But have you given any thought as to the sides you will be preparing? Well, this morning, Chef Moira joins us in the kitchen with uh, some very, very nice ideas in terms of those sides that can accompany your main dishes this morning. Moira, Thank lovely you. to have you in the kitchen. Thank you. I cannot believe as we're standing here, Christmas is literally just around the corner. I know that a lot of people are prepping those big roasts they're going to be making, but I mean, side dishes are always kind of a, an afterthought. Yes, no, and uh, it, it is an afterthought. A lot of people just do beans and carrots and corn and things like that. So I want the viewers to have a wow Christmas this year and with lots of flavour. I like lots of flavour at my Christmas table. Love it. Um, so we're showing them three different dishes that they can serve with their Christmas roasts. Okay. It'll go with a selection of meats. Great. Um, so I think we made better get going because there's quite a lot to do. Right, what's the first uh, one? So we, the first one is a butternut dish and okay. what I'm going to do is a bean topping, yeah. um, a mixed bean topping. It just adds a bit of texture and, and um, wholesomeness to the butternut. Um, you roast the butternut, you're going to, we're going to put it in the oven and roast it and then we're going to finish it off some, with some um, herbs in that. Okay. All right, so we, you've got your butter melting in there. What we're going to add into it is um, the ku butter beans and tangy sauce. This has got a gravy in already. All right. All right. Um, and then we're going to add in our mixed beans, all right, the full bean mix. All right, and you'll see it's got the kidney beans. This adds a lot of colour and crunch and texture to the butternut. That's it. Now, what I'm going to do to add extra flavours is to add some sweet chilli, because sweet chilli and butternut go amazingly. Really? Beautiful. I've never actually tried it. Yeah, so we're going to add that in. All you right. see the colour the, uh, and the wow. flavours with the beans will just work perfectly. Good old sweet chilli, all right. That's it. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. And you remember the beans are already cooked, so yes. we, we save the viewer a lot of time. Yeah, you just um, want to warm them You just want to warm them up and bring all the flavours together and then we'll put it over our, bat our butternut. I'm adding in mint. All right. Because the mint goes well with the sweet chilli. And so does coriander. And the combination of the two is a real wow for your table. All of this with butternut, I, have, I would never that's thought. It. All right, so that's really your mixture finished. So we, if you want to bring it over here, I'm going to pour, pour it over the top. All right, here we um, go. And we'll carry on to the next one. Awesome. There we go. Thank you. So the um, butternut you've roasted already? Um, slightly. It's just uh, um, very slightly roasted because we want to finish it off in the, in the yes. oven. And you want the butternut to um, absorb the flavours from the beans. There we go. So you're just going to let it go down. And you can see all the lovely flavours of the, or the, the visual yeah. of the coriander and the basil yeah. going really well the with the beans. sweet chilli pieces in there as well. Correct. And that's basically your one veg finish. So you can make this... Pr the, Viewers can make this be the day before, yeah. keep it in the fridge, and the next day, just before lunch, maybe half an hour, yeah. put it in the oven and roast it, finish, and then serve it with their dish. Awesome. But I'm sure something like this could also be nice cold as well. Oh, delicious. Given a, given a hot really summer's delicious. day. Yeah. Correct, yeah, really All delicious. Right. Then we have our savoury rice, um, which, I, which I've made already because we want to move on to the next one. And that's really just cooked rice with the ku lentils and the ku chakalaka, the mild and spicy. Yes. You can use any variant, but I use the mild and spicy because it's, it's not everyone likes a lot of heat, and you want to balance out the flavours on your Christmas table. Perfect. And then it's just got some tomatoes in there, and that's on the website, All so right. they, they can get the recipe cool. there. Cool, so for the rice, you can just log into expressoshow.com to get the recipe there as Correct. well. Correct. And then the last um, one is a, is a corn bake. Yes. This is really just my own twist and in creating that nuttiness. Okay. Okay, so in here I've got maize meal, um, and we're going to add in some um, baking powder. All right. We're going to add in our eggs, and we're going to just stir it at the same time. So do you want me to help you, you want out to, You want to stir. Yeah. And then you All can right. have both hands free. Correct. And this is really, you add everything in quickly. Okay, and this is melted butter. Maize meal is, is very healthy for you. Yeah. Um, and it goes well with the corn. And remember, corn is, is, my, is just yeah. ground maize meal. We're going to add in um, some red pepper and some onion. This just adds flavour and it also adds colour to your dish. All right. And then we're going to add in the Ku cream style um, sweet corn, which will create that creaminess. And then, oh, this is so decadent. Um, um, and it just showed you a versatility in it. And this is um, your ku chickpeas. All yes. right. And this creates a nuttiness. And you can crush them if you want to, or you can keep yeah. them whole like me. I like the texture because you don't want them just all mush. And then I've got the whole kernel corns. Easy as that. Right. That. And that's really, that's really it. And then we're going to layer it in an oven dish with some cheese and some pecan nuts. Yeah. And we're going to bake it 35 to 40 minutes. Yeah. And that's your one dish finished. So, so, so a good Afrikaans say that it's a lacquer pop that. Yeah, huh? it's very similar to that, except yeah. the pop hasn't been cooked beforehand. Exactly, All right, exactly. Yeah. All right, so this is just a much easier way, I would say. Yeah, I love All it. Right. Quick and easy because you just literally throw everything together. And then yeah. some grated cheese that we just layer it Yes, there. just like that. Oh, let's not be shy now, shall we? No, we'll keep some for the top, eh? Absolutely. All right. All right, how's that? All right, that's perfect. And a little bit of the pecan nuts. 
And they can use any nuts. And if you are um, allergic to nuts, then just leave out the nuts. So you've got enough nuttiness coming from the chickpeas or curry chickpeas. All right, All right. there we go. All right, and that's it. So while you finish that off, if you want to get your hands on the recipe for our beautiful our little pop dad here, which is not really a pop dad, but almost <laughs> like a pop dad, or even our butternut roast here, you can SMS the keyword Q to 33728 to get your hands on the recipe. Alternatively, you can watch one more time right now how we put it together. Season butternut and drizzle with oil. Roast for 15 minutes. For the relish, melt the butter and add ku mixed beans, ku butter beans in tangy sauce, sweet chili sauce, coriander, mint and seasoning. Pour the relish over the butternut and top with spring onions. Bake for 10 minutes. For the sweet corn bake, mix maize meal and baking powder. Mix eggs, buttermilk and butter. Add ku cream style corn, ku kernel corn, ku chickpeas, onion, red pepper and seasoning. Stir into the dry ingredients. Pour half of the mixture into the baking dish and sprinkle with half of the cheese and nuts. Top the remaining batter, cheese and nuts. Bake for 45 minutes. For the rice, saute garlic and tomatoes and ku lentils and ku chakalaka mild and spicy. Add the rice and seasoning. Fold in the basil and chives. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. You can also SMS the keyword Q to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Just click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMS cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs and terms and conditions apply. And there you have it. Three quick and easy delicious sides to accompany your mains this festive season. Moira, thank you so much for sharing. So you're just finishing it off. What are you doing over there? Well, just a little bit of extra coriander and the mint that we had put into the sauce just That's to it. garnish it with. All right. It's delicious. I love it. Quick, easy, delicious. There you have it. If you want to get your hands on the recipe for our um, butternut roast and even the decadent sweet corn tart, you can just SMS the keyword Q to 33728. Keep in mind those SMSs do cost 1 Rand 50. And then for our rice over here, you can just log on to our website, expressoshow.com, for all of the details. And there you have it. Three delicious sides. Now you do not have to worry about any sides for your festive season roasts. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.